What's up, ladies? Okay, I apologize for the technical issues I was having earlier in the gym with the deadlifts. So I'm going to walk you through it here. And why do we do a sumo deadlift? What's the real purpose? One, it's a variation of a traditional deadlift. We definitely want to be strong under different loads, under different stimuli, be able to lift with our bodies in different positions. It all plays a role in progressive overload, which is being able to do more over time. We want to get super strong functionally, right? Not just by doing bicep curls. We just want to be strong in our everyday. The deadlift form or the hip hinge form is one of the most mistakenly done forms or techniques. And so I want to walk you through it. So I'm going to minimize myself just a little bit so you can see more of a focus. Okay. So first and foremost, I want you to notice the starting position. Wherever your toes are facing, your knee needs to be facing there, the same direction. So your knees are not caving in. They're facing the same direction as your toe is pointing, okay? It's going to really protect your knee. If you find that you're unable to get your knees in the same direction, bring your stance in a little bit. It could mean that you don't have very much mobility in your um, hip abductors, okay, in your in inner thigh, your groin. I'm like, what's that word I'm thinking of? It's in your groin. Okay, great. So then, as you notice, my hips are about a 30 to 45 degree angle. They're not in a squat form. Your hips are up a little bit and your chest is down, okay? And so if you notice here as well, from my hips to my head is one line. You're not looking up, cranking the neck. Wherever your chest is looking, your eyes need to be looking there as well. Same direction, okay? It's going to protect your neck and just keep you in proper posture. A few other pieces that I really want to touch on for this starting position, feel free to save this, go back, watch it, take notes so you can put it into your lift. The deadlift is one of the most technical movements, and so it's a lot of notes. Okay, so what I want you to notice is my shoulders. They are dropped down towards my hips. And they are pulled back almost like you're holding a shoe between your shoulder blades. So your lats are engaged. Your lats are engaged, keeping that bar in position. So this is a total body movement, right? It's not just a glute and hammy. Okay, great, ladies. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's watch it. Okay. So I'm going to have you watch a couple reps and then... Just notice what you think about, and then I will give you a few other pieces here. Okay. So one of the big things I want you to notice is, remember, a deadlift is a hip hinge. We're not squatting. You're not bending your knees first. The very first movement is an RDL. An RDL is the first half and the last half of every deadlift, regardless of what position. Snatch grip dead, sumo dead, traditional dead, dumbbell, it doesn't matter. The first and the last movement pattern of a deadlift is an RDL, okay? So let's go ahead and stand. So if you notice, the very first thing I do is I hip hinge, my torso drops, and I'm moving into an RDL. Bam, that's an RDL right there. This movement, I could go back and forth. That's an RDL. <laughs> Once that bar is then past your knees, then you allow your hips to drop. Okay? Now it's the exact same thing, but backwards on the way up. Hips go up, hips go up, then back into the RDL. RDL it up. RDL back down. Oops, I was going backwards. Okay, so RDL, hips down, hips come back up towards the ceiling, RDL it back up. Okay, so let's watch it a little more. Your back is engaged the whole time. Moving your body around the bar, not moving your bar around the body. Because those times that maybe you have 200 pounds on that bar, you don't want to be putting your shoulder at jeopardy because you're moving the bar around. So we want to really position our bodies to be able to move around the bar. Awesome, ladies. I'd love to hear two things. Any questions you have so we can talk through it because you really want to have proper lifting form. Yes, injury and quality of life and strength, but also to shape your body, ladies. Even if your nutrition is off, but you're lifting as heavy as you can, getting as strong as you can with the proper program and the proper form and technique, 
you can have total body transformation. You really can. So they're they're equally important. Yes, you cannot out train a bad diet. You can't like tone and have the things without the nutrition, but you can still build under it. And so as the fat comes off, you do get to unfold this stunning physique instead of just losing the weight and then being like, now I'll gain muscle. It's like, but wait, let's do it more efficiently so you can love your body faster and get fit faster, but in a healthy way. Okay. And then the other thing I would love to hear, what's your favorite deadlift? Do you like to do dumbbell, barbell, traditional, snatch grip, sumo, RDL, Romanian deadlift? What do you like to do? I'd love to hear it. All right, ladies. See you later.